In question 17 of the exercise, the problem statement is as follows. In a school, students thought of planting trees in and around the school to reduce air pollution. It was decided that the number of trees that each section of each class will plant will be the same as the class in which they are studying. For example, a section of class 1 will plant one tree, a section of class 2 will plant two trees and so on till class 12th. There are three sections of each class. How many trees will be planted by the students? So we have classes from class 1 to class 12. Every class has three sections. Each section will plant uh, the number of trees equal to their class. So to make sense of this problem, let's just tabulate the information given to us. So here I've drawn a table for you. So the top row of the table represents the classes from class 1 to class 12 and the left column that you see represents the three section A, B and C of each class. Now we are told that every class, every section of every class plants a certain number of trees equal to their uh, their class. So for example class 1 section A will plant one tree, class 1 section B will plant one tree and class 1 section C will also plant one tree. Now class 2 section A will plant two trees Similarly, class 2 section B will plant two trees and class 2 section C will also plant two trees. And now if you go to class 3, you will have uh, three trees planted by class 3 section A, another three trees planted by section B and another three trees planted by section C and so on. So when you reach grade 12, then each section will uh, plant 12 uh, trees. All right. So this means that every class, we can now calculate the amount of trees planted by every class, all the sections put together. So class one, all the sections put together will plant three trees. Class two, all the sections put together will plant six trees. Class three, all the sections put together will plant nine trees and so on. All the way up to class 12, which will plant a total of 36 trees. And now all we have to do is we have to add these numbers and that will give us the total number of trees planted by the students. So let's do that now. So this is an arithmetic progression in which the first term A is equal to 3. The common difference D is equal to 3 as well because the difference between any pair of consecutive terms is 3. And the number of terms is 12 because there are 12 classes from class 1 to class 12. So now let's apply the formula for the sum of n terms. So this is n by 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times d. So let's substitute the values into this. So n is 12. So n by 2, we get 12 by 2 times 2a. So a is 3. So 2a is 6 plus n is 12. So n minus 1 is 11. So 11 into d is 3. So this is what we get. So this is equal to 12 by 2 is equal to 6. So 6 into 6 plus 11 into 3. So 11 into 3 is 33. 33 plus 6 is 39. So we get 39 into 6. That is equal to 234. So in all, in total, the students of grades or classes 1 to 12 will plant a total of 234 trees. So the answer to this question is 234. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.